What's up, y'all? Mmm. 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 I don't know what it is lately, but these hot flames has been hitting. But if you can see by the title of the video, actually, I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet. I don't even know what I'm going to call the title of this video. That's how like raw this video is right now. Basically, I, I feel like I've... It's crazy. It's like four years in the game. It's, it's really paying off. Two, one or two years studying and trading just SPS 500 indices in general is really paying off. And sheesh, like I'm not even about to talk too much. We really just about to hop into the chart right now. I'm going to show y'all basically how this morning went in the market. Um, all the way from like the news that came out this morning to me sending out the alert, to me actually, um, basically, <laughs> I ain't even gonna say too much. Let's hop into the video without further ado. Let's get it. So, for the starters, um, this morning when I woke up, right, initially, I didn't even uh, check and see what was the news forecast or nothing like that. I just looked at the chart. I'm like, okay, <clears throat> it looked like a potential bicep. It's coming for SPS 500. Who do you do? Right? This is around 8.30 a.m. in the morning when I woke up. So, later on, I actually did look at the news. I'm like, you know what? SPS is really on down right now. Let me see what's really going on. When I come to the news, right, I come to Forest Factory. This is one of the sites I use just to check the forecast on like, what's going on for the week. What's the news looking like? Um, if you know, you know. That's what it's looking like for next week. But we're talking about today, Thursday, May 12th. Today, Thursday, May 12th, they decided to, um, it was news coming out on unemployment claims, right? It was forecast to be at 190K. Uh, previous, it was at 202K. And the actual came out to be 203K. So, as you can see, this is a red indication in the market. Basically, letting you know that this isn't good for the economy. And why isn't it good for the economy? It isn't good for the economy because obviously, if unemployment rates, Unemployment claims are going up. That means our economy is doing bad. That means there's a lot of citizens and people that are out of jobs, right? And obviously, America, we don't want that. But the fact that it, instead of going lower than what they projected it to be, it actually went higher. By it, Even if it was just about 1K, it still went up and increased more than what was projected. So, with that being said, you take what you see here in the market, and it's crazy. Cause I was gonna do another video just doing the same as that thing from last, not even last week, yesterday. Same similar set up yesterday where news came out and how the market reacted. And I wish I would have dropped that video yesterday because it would have set y'all up so perfect for today to where y'all could have capitalized off of this if you're not in my center chat. Um, but as we come to the charts, as you can see, sniper entry. But I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything right now just so I can really um show y'all. And I'm gonna actually, I need to. I'm gonna actually go ahead and get that trade and view subscription thing too. But for right now, let's make sure everything is naked. Alright, bet. So this morning was like I said, 8 30 a.m. We're gonna put a box. Alright. Alright, we're gonna put a box. Uh alright. So 8.30 a.m., right, I had an idea. I'm like, okay, once I realized that the unemployment news came out, I'm like, all right, if I was SPS, news come out about unemployment claims, okay, cool. I know that's going to make the market uh, take off for real. But the area that I know, like, how it would want to move to, I'm like, I want to see it come back to at least 39.60. And I think, I believe I told that in chat, too. Let me make sure. I didn't even know I believe. I know I told it in chat. That's... <laughs> Like this morning couldn't have played out any more be better, man. I literally said 3960 area. I said, okay, we're down here in the markets. I'm like, I'm looking at where are the previous resistance. Like, where are the main areas that I know SPS is probably gonna want to come to? Um, especially like when I'm looking at the KLT broker. Remember how I told you guys last time in the video, um, the market, the charts is kind of like different in a sense, kinda, but not really. So look, so literally said 3960 area is the area that we're gonna look for. That's the area I put the screenshot of too. And I actually put it on Instagram, so you probably already seen it. But 
I'm not 3960 is going to be the area where the market is going to want to retest to. And then once it actually pushes up to that price, we're going to want to look for the sale. We're going to look for the downtrend because, like I said, unemployment claims, that's bad. The unemployment claims are going up, right? Once I did that, once I sent that out, I'm like, all right, bet. So 930 opening bill happened. Instead of it taking out to retest, it broke out for a little bit. So yes, we call it like a mini sale. We enter at 38.85. It smacked TP1. After it smacked TP1, it snatched right back into that zone. And that's where we saw uh, SPS take off for the uptrend move. And actually, I didn't even talk about this on the gram yet, but while we were waiting for the move to come back to 39.60, we were able to actually hop into the entry. Uh, I believe the entry was 39.25 for the buy. Uh, let me make sure. Here, I put a screenshot of that too. Yep, it was 39.25 for the buy. I said, while we're waiting for the, uh, I put that screenshot too. While we're waiting for the uptrend to go up, while we're waiting for that retest, we can enter at 39.25 and we can take that back up to the price of 39.60. So not only did we go from 39.25 to 39.60, that's 340, 350 pips, right? From there, you enter at 39.60, and then now we're literally in a swing trade right now for 600 pips in profit. Combining for seven, eight, nine, nine hundred pips. They ain't about to be a thousand on a day, um, thousand pips on a day, just off of SPS 500 alone. And that's kind of like where I guess you could say the fundamental side, understanding fundamentals, can help you in the long run when you're trading. Even though I'm a bit technical person, I don't look at news too much, but I do understand that I have to being able to understand both sides, technical and fundamental side of things, will help you predict or not even, basically give you better, a higher probability of being accurate when it's time to actually place the trades that you're looking for. So like even now, with SBS breaking, retesting, and now it's coming back here, there's a potential chance that it's like, okay, we came here because this is where we wanted to come to before we start the downturn, but we might be toxic even more and we might actually come back up again. So what I'm gonna give you guys is uh, the screenshot that I put in the chat, I'll put it here again, but basically that same setup, if it comes back to 39.25, enter the buy again, and then you can look for the overall, um, basically, if it comes back up to here again, it's about to be a transition switch. So as you can see, SBS has been in a hell of a downtrend since April, right? Um, we were aware of this because, well, I had my specific strategy that I, that I knew, that let me knew that it was going to start being on the downtrend, but going into this now, it's starting to push to an area the last time I was at this price was literally back in, if I'm not mistaken, 2021. Or like early, oh no, we good. Basically at the beginning of March. But the last time I was here was like during 2021. So with that being said, you know it's going to get to a support level. Where since it's in this downtrend now, it's going to start making that uptrend move. And when that uptrend move come, honestly, it's going to be ridiculous. And I actually might. This is going to be the one time y'all going to see me like swing trade. I'm going to really... I'm going to dedicate one account just to swing trading. And wherever that support level end up being for us, I plan on swing trading that thing back up to here at four, to 48.32. Yes, I see it coming here eventually um, by the end of the year. That's 9,000 pips off of one trade. Um, yes, we can catch that off of US 30, catch twice as much. But that goes to say, if SBS is going in the uptrend, US 30 and all the others will be following suit in that uptrend as well. So... I'm just putting it, I'm putting y'all hip and I'm putting y'all word to it now. So don't be surprised when it's a couple months go by and we're getting around Christmas and you see me on Instagram and I post a swing trade of me being 300k, 400k in profit just off of one move from SPS 500 that we talked about on May 12th, <laughs> back in May 12th, back on May 12th, back in May, you feel me? But this is a beautiful setup. Um, Just wanted to come on here and like really break that down. I'm mad I didn't drop the video yesterday because... That could have helped somebody like catch this move today and, and basically peep how um what to look for for SPS. But I will be posting that. Basically, I'll break down that explanation. That would be in for my academy. I'll just drop that on the academy instead or for my single chat members. But um, if you were debating about joining the single chat or joining the academy in general, right? We talked about this in the last video, but like I talked about it on my ground today. The longer that you wait, like if you're just being like on the fence about it, if you don't have the money for it, I understand. But the longer you're on the fence about it, the longer you're like, you're, you're letting yourself watch, watch everybody that's in the chat, watch me get these results that you know that you can get yourself if you apply yourself. 
but just understand the longer you either way, the more setups you're missing out on. And basically like the more like long term success you're missing out on too by investing in yourself to help educate you and sharpen your skills and your iron when it comes to trading. Right? But I just wanna end I'm just I just wanted to come on, talk to y'all about that. I'm gonna go ahead and eat the rest of these funds. I hope you guys enjoy your is it Thursday? Yeah. Enjoy your Thursday. Enjoy the sunshine and the weather wherever you are. And I'll see you guys in the next video.